and we're with the Winkle. Today we're making a, a Zoetrope. Ella, do you like going to the movies? Yes. Yes, and we're recording this right now in the time of COVID-19 where we haven't been able to go to the movies in such a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know before they could even have movies on a big screen, they had to come up with a way to make those movies? And we're going to talk about that today with our zoetrope. Shall we see what's in our kit today? Yes. All right. Black paper, white paper, 18 inch ruler, tape and a popsicle stick, wooden dowel, tin container, and a lid. Awesome. On top of everything in our kit, you'll need a pair of scissors, and a pencil and or a marker. And once you have those things, we're ready to get started. Yahoo! Ella, I'm gonna explain a little bit more about a zoetrope because I have a feeling a lot of our Winkle kids are going to love it, but also they've never heard of it before. Because <laughs> it's so old fashioned. It's like back before we had movies. I know, that's like forever ago. <laughs> So the idea behind a zoetrope is if you move a lot of images through a single spot fast enough, you create the illusion of an animated image. So do you remember that flipbook animation that we did where we had all those pages and we did an animation we were flipping through it? Yeah. I just did mine. <laughs> yeah, you just did yours. So every animation in there has to move very slowly because we're trying to trick our eye into thinking it's all a moving picture, right? So that's a lot like a zoetrope. What are some animations that you can think of? Maybe like Frozen? Yes! Oh. That's what we're talking about. People are drawing those pictures and then flipping them through our eyes fast enough so that we don't see each individual drawing, we see the whole thing and it looks like a drawing is actually moving. That's <laughs> animation! Unlike a flip book though, where you flip through the pages quickly, a zoetrope rotates the images, which are viewed through a slit. Okay, now you're getting out your paper and it's all rolled up with this rubber band and it's really hard to work with because it's curled like this. So you're going to uncurl it. So flip it over and just curl it back the other direction just for a little bit. Kind of squeeze it a little bit but you don't want to put a crease in it and then unroll it and it should be nice and straight. Okay so we have our black paper and our ruler first. Now we're going to line up the zero at the edge of our black paper and we're going to move the ruler up to pretty close to the top of this black paper. You're gonna start at the number one and put a little mark with your pencil. And then we're going to be doing odd numbers. So if you can remember your math, the even numbers are always easier for me to count. Two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? But the odd numbers go one, three, five, seven, all good girls go to heaven. <laughs> so let's mark those. We're gonna start with the one, mark the three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15, 17. Good, and that whole time Ella was making sure that the zero was right where it needed to be or else your measurements will be a little bit off. If at any time in these Winkle videos we get too far ahead of you, you can always press pause on the video, catch up to us, and then press play. So don't get discouraged because sometimes we go faster or we even go in fast motion. And you can just catch up with us when you're ready. Okay, then we're gonna take our ruler and the popsicle stick and line the ruler up with the zero and measure at two inches. We're gonna draw a line all the way across our popsicle stick. Okay, now we're going to take our popsicle stick and line up our two inch line on the top of the black paper and the left side of your popsicle stick is going to line up with your mark. Okay, so that's your one inch mark, your very first mark. Make sure you can see it and then you're lining that up. Good, you got it. Okay, so now we're going to trace with our pencil. We're going to go down this side, around. Try and hold that popsicle stick as still as you can down the other side. I'll show you again. We're going to line up the popsicle stick so you can see that mark right there. I'm bringing, I'm not going like this from the right because that would make our slit too big. I'm kind of putting my pencil over here, lining it right up with that stick and then on the other side.
Okay, we have our popsicle sticks traced on our black paper. Now it's time to get our scissors. We're going to cut carefully and as accurately as possible because we're making slits. This is what our eye is going to see through to the other side to see our animation. Now normally, Ella, images being spun like this would all blur together, but because of these slits that we put in the container, our eyes only observe brief instances of the image through the slits, and then they fly by quickly, so our brain looks at them as one fluid motion. Cool. Yeah, it's like an optical illusion. <laughs> Good job, Ella, you did it. And that's a lot of cutting. Good work, everybody. <laughs> so do you see how when you're doing this, yeah, that's cool. you see images in pieces? So that's how we're gonna see our picture that we're doing today. We're going to see little pieces of it through these slits, and then the black part is going to give our eye a little bit of a break. But when we see all these pieces quickly with the break in the middle, it's gonna look like one moving picture. Okay, so we're going to take our black paper that you carefully cut those slits in and line up our white paper and they line up perfectly at 18 inches. And then we're going to take a little bit of our tape and put a little bit on this side that shows. And most of it is gonna go on the back side so that we don't see it that much in our picture. Then we'll put the tape on the other side, just a little bit shows on this side, and then you can tape the rest onto the other side. Now our papers are together. Okay, so you need to think of something that has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine images. And remember the image has to come back to itself. So if you start with like a flat ball, it can get bigger, but then it has to get smaller because it's going to be in a circle. It has to make sense. In a flower, it, had, it would have to like bloom and then come back. <laughs> yeah, it would have that, to start with a blossom, bloom, back to... That would be kind of cool. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be a really good idea. We're gonna do something really simple today, but you guys are welcome to do your own idea. Then, if you want to switch out your image, all you have to do is cut the same amount of paper You'll have to tape it together because you probably don't have a really long piece of white paper at home, but you can make your own paper strip and put different images in here if you want. So I'm going to start with a ball. So when a ball is on the ground, to make it look more like a ball, it's going to be an oval shape like that. And then when it's coming off the ground, it goes like it's gonna go into more of a circle. Up up. Right, see how it's going up and up and up? And then it's gonna go down. So I have it starting like a flat oval down here and it's getting more and more like a circle and it's going up. So that's a lot of good motion. And it's very simple, which is a really good place to start with our animation. So it goes up, but then remember, I have one, two, three, four more spots in order to get it to come back down. So I'm going to do exactly what I did here, over here, watch. That way it starts as a flat ball and it comes up into a big, happy, big ball and then back down and it's gonna look like it's bouncing. Since I like this design, I'm gonna go color it with my marker. ours done and now we're going to make our zoetrope and make these animated they're gonna start moving in front of our eyes Yay! Ooh. Right, to, make, to make our zoetrope we're going to take our tin container and turn it over and then we're gonna take about two inches of tape and curl it onto itself like that to make a little curl and we're going to put it in one of those sections on our pie tin and we're gonna repeat that If at any time your container gets like lopsided or maybe even it came to you lopsided in the package because these are kind of flimsy, just want to shape it back out into a circle and try and straighten it out 
the best you can. And then you're going to take your lid, good, and try and center it the best you can, but it's okay if it's off center. This is just to give the container a little more support so it stops getting bent up and smashed. Now we're going to find the center of our circle. So I hope you still have your ruler. So we're going to measure the diameter of this circle, which means from here, from end to end, okay? From this side to this side, that's gonna be the diameter and it's a six inch diameter. See that number six right there? So what's half of six? Half of six is three. That's right, so we're gonna measure. Measure at three inches there. The other way is gonna measure at three inches. We're going straight across. See how I'm following this line across here? Yeah. Marking three inches. So all of those markings, see I'm following this line right here. There's a line there. It goes over to that side straight across. All of those markings will be about the middle. And we're gonna poke a hole. So if you are scared of poking a hole because you don't wanna get your fingers hurt, you can use like a sponge or a towel or something on the other side. That way you can still poke your pencil through without poking mm -hmm. your fingers. That's cool. Yep, so here I go poking my hole. Now we're going to take a piece of tape and put it on the back side of your zoetrope right there. And then we're going to take this other piece and match up don't overlap it. You're just going to match it up. Once you have it, don't press it until it's lined up. Once you have it lined up, then you can press it together. Now we're going to put our circle inside of our container. Take two pieces of tape, and you're going to tape half of it onto your black paper. Go to the other side, tape half of it onto your black paper, and then these pieces of tape are going to bend backwards like this so that we can lay it in here and they'll tape to the side of our container. Watch this. Once it's in there, kind of press that tape against the side so that it secures it into place. We are almost done, woo, we're getting excited. All right, we're gonna secure our dowel into place, so get two more two inch pieces of tape. If you don't know what two inches is, Guess what, you have a ruler, so you can always measure your tape. We're going to put that dowel in from the bottom. You want enough at the bottom that you can hold onto it with your hand. You don't really want a lot of the dowel to show in the middle because that will ruin our image. Maybe about an inch poking out. And then to tape, you're going to tape some on the stick and some on the container, and then do it on the other side. And pinch those pieces of tape together. That should be pretty secure on the bottom, but if you want to do more and you have more tape, go ahead and secure it on the other side, on the inside of the container as well. Oh my gosh, it's a moving picture. That, that looks so cool. awesome. Okay, then more shade. You do this one. Ella! Oh, that's cool. <laughs> this looks amazing. You did such a good job. <laughs> Have you had fun making our zoetrope today? Yes. I sure have. This has been such a fun project. We can't wait to see what you guys at home made. If you have a grown up, take a picture or video, put it on social media and tag us at the Winkle Crate. That way we can see what you made. Also, if you go to www.thewinkle.com, click on reviews, you'll be able to post a picture of yourself and a review for a chance to win a $25 Winkle gift. Doesn't that sound awesome? Yeah. Okay, have so much fun with your zoetrope today, everybody. Bye. Bye. Now I made you yawn. The queen of the winkle. Oh, yes, my dear. How are you? Ready for canning.